Good afternoon. We are Anna and Liana from the International Studies Office of the Aristotle University School of Medicine. We are here today to share our knowledge, advice, and inform young candidates who are interested in applying to our school. The Aristotle University School of Medicine was founded in 1942. It is one of the largest universities in Greece, hosting the most prominent school of medicine in the country. We have already opened up our doors to English-speaking candidates from all over the world, and we are amidst the second application cycle for the 2022-23 academic year. The Aristotle University is the largest academic institution in Southeastern Europe, and it accounts more than 30,000 graduates, some of them with a great impact on science and humanity. Its human resources are of high quality, with faculty members who dedicated years in postgraduate education and professional training abroad, and who continuously produce a high level of scientific and clinical workload. The Aristotle University is related to 62 international education organizations, unions and universities networks, as well as 15 students associations aiming to promote academic research activities and develop international cooperation. The key of success is that we continue an, an ancient and world-renowned medical tradition. We are proud to offer undergraduate studies of medicine to the highest standards in English, in the very land where Hippocrates, the most renowned medical hero, had practiced. Thus, we invite candidates from all countries, ethnicity and cultures to join us on a journey where the ancient and modern run in parallel and thus opening the path for a bright professional career in medicine while enjoying the modern lifestyle in Thessaloniki. What is really important to us is, that, is the dissemination of all ethical values to students governing the medical practice. We ensure that young medical doctors will acquire all scientific knowledge which will enable them to diagnose and effectively manage health problems. So we go globally as one of the best education centers in the modern world. Our motto is precision and empathy, our legacy, our practice. The six-year medical curriculum is totally adapted in modern needs and the student can participate in various research programs of the laboratories and medical departments. Each student is linked with an academic advisor from the first day of their studies, who will guide them throughout their studies and help them actively participate in the program. Students are supported throughout their period of study, providing information about the facilities offered, such as the gym, the library and IT center, the Kalantra University summer camp in Halkidiki, and many more. The main campus is located in the most convenient place of the city, right in the heart of it, in the center of the city. Our University Hospital Achepa is based on campus and is one of the country's leading clinical centers. There are also six other major hospitals in and around the city where students gain valuable experience too. The required documents for your admission to the school, in the School of Medicine are the following your ID card if you are a member of the European Union, or a valid passport in the case of candidates outside the European Union, your graduation title of high school, a certificate of your high school diploma which entitles you to participate in the higher education institution of the country in which you graduate, your final two-year academic transcripts, a certificate of competency in English, particularly IELTS with an overall minimum score band 6 or TOEFL with a minimum score 79 out of 120. A personal statement or a proof of participation in the CPSP test. Results, if any, of entrance exams at universities of your home country. And finally, your CV. All the above documents must be officially translated into English by an authorized office attached to the original copies. As you can easily see on our website, you have just to press the Apply Now button and fill in your personal details in order to create an account and upload the above documents. Now, after you have finally gathered all the required documents, you will be invited to an interview. After that, candidates are required to see the admission test, 
which is a 60 question multiple choice test conducted online. There are some exemptions, such as holders of PMAT, A levels, GAMSAT, SAT, IB, maybe test you with the required minimum scores, as you can see on the slide, who are waived from the admission mm -hmm. test. Thessaloniki is a significant historical and multicultural city. The city's history dates back to the ancient Greeks as it was founded in 315 BC and was named after Thessaloniki, the half-sister of Alexander the Great. Thessaloniki offers a relaxed lifestyle and has always been a diverse and multicultural city due to the fact that it was one of the most important commercial centers in the Balkan Peninsula. Thessaloniki is a lively modern city where more than 150,000 students study here, meaning that 15% of its population are students, and the cost of living is relatively cheaper to other European countries, as you can see on the slide. So you are all invited to experience student life in this friendly and hospitable city. Thank you for your attention. Welcome to the Anglophone MA program, Film and Television Studies, at the School of Film at Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. This is an intensive three-semester program taught by our faculty and a stellar lineup of uh, world-renowned scholars. The program is designed to cover a wide array of topics in film and television studies, including classical and contemporary theories of cinema, digital ontology and new media, history and cinema, politics in film and television, the Holocaust in film and television, the history of television, television and film genres, contemporary filmmaking, gender, celebrity and stardom. We place a special emphasis on issues of research and methodology, cultivating advanced skills and encouraging innovative approaches to the shifting boundaries between film and television. On completion of this MA program, our students will have acquired a firm grounding in the theoretical, political, industrial, historical and aesthetic dimensions of film and television through a range of academic perspectives. We are happy to welcome you in a vibrant learning environment and a city that stands out as the historical and cultural center in the Balkans. The purpose of the postgraduate program Film and Television Studies is to ensure the scientific excellence, the specialization and the cultivation of advanced skills and knowledge in the subject of film and television studies of theoretical historical orientation that are taught at the School of Film of Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, the advancement of academic research as well as the promotion of new scientific knowledge. In accordance with the program's direction, its basic goals are the high-level cultivation and promotion of visual literacy, A. in the history of film and television, B. in the different cinematic and televisual genres, C. in learning contemporary theoretical models regarding representation, and D. in the interdisciplinary approach of televisual texts. The program is conducted exclusively in the English language, as our goal is to transform the School of Film and, by extension, the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki into the Centre of Film and Television Postgraduate Studies in Southeast Europe. The categories of candidates that can be accepted in the postgraduate program of the School of Film are first holders of bachelor's degrees from Greek higher education institutions or recognized foreign institutions of equivalent status as long as they submit officially recognized degrees. 2. Holders of postgraduate diplomas, MA, in film studies, media studies and cultural studies of Greek higher education institutions or recognized foreign institutions of equivalent status as long as they submit officially recognized degrees even if the candidates don't possess a bachelor degree from the departments mentioned in paragraph 1. 3. A postgraduate diploma cannot be awarded to a student whose bachelor degree from a foreign institution is not recognized by the Hellenic National Academic Recognition Information Center according to the law. 
four members of the categories special scientific personnel, laboratory educational staff and special technical laboratory staff, as long as they fulfill the requirements of the first passage of paragraph 1, article 34. Only one student of these categories can enroll as extra per year and per program. The number of students accepted in the program annually is 25 maximum. The call for applications is set by the assembly of the School of Film and is published every February or March. The invitation includes admission requirements and procedure, candidate categories, number of students to be accepted, selection criteria, and deadlines for application submission as well as required documents. The application together with the necessary documents are submitted to the email of the EMA program. The criteria for the candidate's selection and their grading based on the scale of 100 are as follows. First, grade of degree or diploma and relevance of subject 15 points. Two, the grades of the undergraduate courses that are relevant to the program, 15 points. 3. Performance in the bachelor's thesis, in case it is required for the bachelor degree, 10 points. 4. Proficiency in English, 15 points. 5. Knowledge of second and or other foreign languages, 15 points. 6. Interview by a relevant committee. The interview may be conducted electronically if the candidate is not a permanent resident of Greece, 15 points. 7. Other considerations are research experience, academic publications, writing activity and other postgraduate degrees, 15 points. The total score is uh, 100 points. The minimum percentage required for acceptance is 60%, 60 points. After the assembly decision of the School of Film, the selection procedure of the candidates is conducted by a three-member selection and examination committee, consisting of faculty members who have undertaken postgraduate work. The committee charts a full catalogue with all the candidates and, after examination, rejects those that do not fulfil the minimum requirements that are set from the relevant department and call for interview the accepted candidates who gather the prerequisites. After the procedure's completion, a final board of the entrants is charted. In the case of at the identical performance, if there are more candidates with the same total score, then for the final ranking the degrees or diplomas grade is considered, and the candidate with the highest grade is qualified. If this also results in identical performance, then, for the final placing, the grading of the courses that are relevant with the program is taken into account. The final board with the successful candidates and the runners-up is posted in the announcement board of the Secretariat and the Department's website after it is confirmed by the Department's assembly. Postgraduate program fees are 3,500 euros. The fees are deposited before the beginning of the two semesters. Every year, two students are exempt from paying tuition fees, provided their individual income, if there is one, and their family income does not exceed individually 100% and 70% respectively of the national domestic equivalent available income, according to the Ministry of Education. For foreign students, data from a relevant state authority are taken into consideration. The students who are eligible from this exemption should apply for it and submit all official documents that verify their income, individual or family, at the Secretariat before the beginning of the program by September 15th. In addition, one scholarship is granted for a Greek student from the J.F. Kostopoulos Foundation. The total credit 
units ECTAs required in order to successfully complete the program are 90. In order to be awarded with a postgraduate diploma, the student must attend eight courses in total in the first two semesters, two obligatory and two elective in each semester, a total of 60 ECTAs. In the last semester, provided that the student has completed the 60 ECTS, he or she must write his or her master's thesis, which corresponds to 30 ECTS. The curriculum is structured as follows. In the first semester, we have the uh, obligatory course Film Theory from Analog to Digital Cinema, which corresponds to 10 ECTS. The second obligatory course is Historiography or Television, History and Culture, also 10 ECTS. And we have the three elective courses from which the student can choose only two. First, Research Methodology, 5 ECTS. Contemporary Issues in Film and Television Studies, also 5 ECTS and Film and Television, Aesthetics and Quality, another 5 ECTS. So we have a total of 30 ECTS gathered in the first semester. In the second semester, the first obligatory course is Historical Cinema, representing the past in fiction and documentary, 10 ECTS. The second obligatory course is Advanced Topics in Genre and Television, 10 ECTS. And the other three elective courses, Production Practices in Contemporary Filmmaking, 5 ECTS. Contemporary Issues in Film and Television Studies, another 5 ECTS. And lastly, Film, Television and Politics, 5 ECTS. So we have another 30 uh, ECTS gathered in this second uh, semester. The courses last for 13 weeks. The third semester is dedicated to the completion of the MA thesis, which is another 30 ECTS. All the courses of the program are evaluated by written assignments focused on the course subject with deadlines set by each professor. The deadline for all papers is 30 days after the end of each semester. In order for the master's thesis to commence, the candidate must submit an application to the coordinative committee, including a tentative title, the supervisor's name, and a comprehensive abstract. The coordinative committee appoints the supervisor and sets a three-member evaluation committee. The members of the latter committee must have the same or relevant scientific expertise with the program subject. The defense of the master's thesis takes place in front of the three-member evaluation committee at a date and place set by the School of Film. After its approval by the committee, the date and time of the defense are announced on the website of School of Film. In the event that the supervisor or a member of the three-member evaluation committee resigns, they can be replaced after the relevant decision of the School of Film Assembly. Everything related to the MA thesis, word limit, font, number of copies to be submitted, etc., is included in the Master's Thesis Writing Guide, posted on the School of Film website. The grade of the postgraduate diploma results from the weighted average of the program's courses and the Master's Thesis and is cal calculated with two decimal accuracy in the following way. The grade of each course and of the master's thesis is multiplied with the respective credit units, ECTS, and the sum of the products is divided with the minimum number of credit units required to be awarded the diploma. Each year, a monetary award is bestowed to the best master's thesis so that the postgraduate student can participate in and present his her research at an international conference. The selection criteria are a. Excellent theoretical and methodological approach b. Excellent coherence and structure and c. Originality and contribution to scientific knowledge. All professors can nominate up to one master's thesis for the prize the evaluation according to the above criteria is conducted by a three-member committee consisting of the program's teaching staff, 
except from the supervisor of the recommended master thesis. The evaluation is based on a 10-point grading scale, where 10 is excellent, in a similar way to the evaluation of the course assignments. In case of an identical performance, the student with the highest grade in the obligatory courses of the two semesters is the award recipient. If this also results in an identical performance, then the grades of the elective courses are taken into consideration. In case that no paper is nominated and or the evaluation committee considers that no nomination fulfills the above criteria, the prize is not awarded. The MA program was founded in 2018 and it is the first Anglophone MA at the School of Film at Aristotle University. Associate Professor Betty Klamanidou is our chair and Professor Eleftheria Thanouli is the vice chair and they teach the obligatory courses of the program. Our elective courses are taught by a stellar lineup of world-renowned guest scholars. Previous scholars include Thomas L. Cesar, Robert Rosestone and Diane Negra, among others, as well as faculty members and teachers of the School of Film. The School of English has a number of MA programs that it offers on four strands on linguistics, foreign language learning and teaching, English and American studies, language literature and digital media in education. So the school is an interdisciplinary school that covers both the linguistics and literature courses. And the four MA programs that you may see are not offered on the same in the same uh, years, but they are run in rotation. So next year, 2022-2023, uh, we are offering the foreign language learning and teaching. The year after, we are offering the linguistics together with English and American studies. And the year after, that is in 2024-2025, we are offering the language literature and digital media and education. And then it will start again with the foreign language learning and teaching. So Next year, we are running the Foreign Language Learning and Teaching Program, which addresses not only the teaching of English as a foreign language, but the teaching of any language as a foreign language. So um, the aims of the postgraduate program, which have been recently revised, um, is to provide postgraduate studies of very high quality because it combines both theory and hands-on practice. So we do provide some opportunity for teaching practice during the MA programs, depending on the choices, on the uh, preferences of the participants. Um, we are trying to provide you with specializations and skills needed um, in order to follow the career path that you would like to follow either in the public or in private domain. And of course, we, are, we aim to give you the opportunity to prepare for advanced postgraduate studies, for example, a PhD or a postdoc or a um, post postgraduate, post um, doc degree. So we're talking about two cycles, postgraduate sty sty studies of a first cycle and postgraduate studies of a second cycle. I'm going to focus on the postgraduate studies of the first cycle, um, and that means the MA programs. So the new postgraduate studies program, as I told you, it has been recently revised. It is built on the current scientific developments and it is based also on the recommendations that have been given to us from external evaluations abroad. And it aims to address current professional needs depending on the needs of the market. And of course it addresses um, your needs as well, because it also ties in with other educational programs and it, I, it ties in with your needs depending on your career choices. As I told you, we have four postgraduate programs, linguistics, foreign language learning and teaching, English and American studies, language literature and digital media and education. This last one is the most interdisciplinary one. Very briefly, the MA in linguistics provides you with a very robust theoretical background in linguistics. 
and it gives you the key skills that will help you conduct independent research in linguistics. So this is a very theoretical MA, as you can understand. It is full time, three semester long. The first two semesters, 12 months, uh, provide you with theoretical courses. The last semester is dedicated to your MA dissertation. The fees are 2,500 euros and this is paid in installments. So you're not, um, you're not giving the full fees from the beginning. Also, there are um, financial criteria that are taken into consideration and the department gives you gives two or three scholarships depending on the number of students that have registered in the MA course. And here I can give you, I give you the uh, respective uh, URL that you can visit and take more and get more information. The second MA is the one that is offered next academic year. This is the most practical one because it connects theory and practice in language teaching. And it does not address only English language teachers, but any language teachers that are interested in teaching a language as a foreign language, even Greek as a foreign language. So we are examining issues related to language learning theories, as well as their importance for language teaching. Um, the length and the fees are the same as in the previous one. And in this particular case, uh, we are advising candidates to have already acquired some teaching practice. And they are even advised to work part-time during their MA studies because their MA studies are going to be based and they are going to be combined with their teaching practi uh, practice. Um, this is the literature um, MA program that combines both English and American studies. It provides you with the opportunity to carry out research into the relationship between literary texts and society, history, politics and culture. We want you to be acquainted with the literary and cultural production of Anglophone cultures. And by Anglophone, we um, mean any country, any studies and any cultures that are related to English speaking countries and cultures. We want to train you to participate in a creative and critical dialogue in a variety of texts from different periods and cultures. And of course, there is a lot of interdisciplinary analysis. And this is perhaps the most interdisciplinary and um, interdisciplinary MA program because it um, integrates a lot of information from English and American studies together with culture, together with art, gender studies, ethnic studies, um, and a lot of digitality and uh, digital studies are also included in this MA program. Uh, the length and the fees are the same as in the previous one, in the previous ones. The final one is the language literature and digital media in education. I remind you that this will be offered in 2024 academic year. And uh, this is also a very interdisciplinary MA program because it combines theoretical principles and practices for teaching together with literature, but also with digitality and digital education. So its goal is to promote implicit language instruction. And this is a key theoretical or a key um, philosophy in this MA program, the implicit language instruction. It aims to provide you with the ability to implement the use of literary texts for the teaching of EFL and train you on the use of digital media in foreign language teaching. Here, the length is the same as in the previous MA programs, but the fees are 3,000 and not 2,500. So it is a bit more expensive because um, it is based a lot and it integrates um, media studies and uh, digital education. So all the MA programs aim to provide you with knowledge and skills for independent research and knowledge production, critical thinking, the ability to analyze data, to collect data, to compare your research findings, we want you to learn how to work in teams. There will, there will be a lot of group work and teamwork and interdisciplinary collaboration. And of course, we want to promote diversity, equity and interculturality in all of our MA programs. The career paths that are open to you 
are related to academia, of course. You will be able to carry out research in the academic community. You will be able to find jobs in both state and private education, international corporations, social and cultural organizations like such as municipalities, museums, embassies, consulates, as I said, private organizations. A lot of our graduates are um, working for the arts in uh, theatrical organizations, in journalism and media studies. So there is a lot of different career paths that um, are available for you after you graduate. As far as the PhD studies, which is the second cycle of our postgraduate program, I would like to tell you that up to now we have um, 158 PhD graduates who already have graduated from one of those programs and either they are working as um, academics or they are holders of chief executive positions in several organizations, not only educational related, but other non-education related. And at this point, currently 60 PhD candidates are registered in the four departments of our school in one of the following departments. The facilities that we offer as, um, as a school is definitely the library of the School of English, which belongs to us, but also the journal library, which belongs to the university as a whole, the central library of the Aristotle and the resource center, which is run by the School of English. So it, it belongs to the school. And we have four laboratories the language development, the phonetics, the narrative research lab, and the foreign language teaching lab. All of them are working together, but each one of them is specializing in a particular field. So the language development um, laboratory belongs to, this, to the Department of Theoretical Linguistics. It is interested in second language development and language processing. It investigates the language acquisition and it is interested in first language acquisition in Greek by normally developing children and children with language problems. There is a lot of research in our department in pathologies, okay, in language developmental issues. So we also have an eye tracker which aims, which helps us um, study language processing and carry out similar research. Regarding the phonetics lab, this is the oldest lab, but the most well equipped we have an uh, electropalatograph and we also have an ultrasound and there is a lot of research that is carried out with the help of those equipment and we continuously equip this particular laboratory with more um, equipment because new things come around and allow us to carry out um, research that is most contemporary. So it carries out research on phonological development in Greek by children of preschool and school age, monolingual, bilingual, plurilingual ones in normal and pathological speech. So there is a lot of research being conducted in the particular lab. The Narrative Research Laboratory Studies uh, Lab belongs to the literature departments and it aims to carry out research in narrative and um, combine it with technologies of narration in fields of humanities, social and applied sciences. It aims to carry out research uh, by using narrative techniques in forms and ideologies of narrations, narratives of society, narrative and new technologies. And if you visit the site in the School of English, you will find out the particular laboratory. Currently, it is um, conducting um, a workshop. So you will be able to find more about it. And finally, the Foreign Language Teaching Lab promotes research in the field of foreign language learning and teaching and assessment within the school context. The most important part of this lab is the fact that um, the School of English has its own primary school, the third experimental primary school of Evosmos, which is supervised by us. And uh, all research is being conducted on site in school with real students and real teachers. And all research that we carry out with the students of the school is conducted on site in the third experimental school of Evosmos. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. 
I tried to cover everything within 10 minutes. I apologize again for the delay. Please let me know if you have any questions and um, you can drop them here in the chat or you can send us emails on to this particular email that you can see um, here on the slide. Thank you very much. is a collective term that encompasses signals, images, video, speech, uh, text, graphics, biological data. We have the data on the right hand side and we need to get tools to uh, extract information out of the digital media. And uh, such tools are signal analysis, computational video, or autonomous robotic systems, language technology, deep learning, uh, games and virtual reality, neuroinformatics, digital biology. Of course, not all of them for all the data uh, listed here, but a good mixture of them are useful and needed for analyzing any um, component of it. What is the mission? of the program. I'm not going to, to read uh, the text. Uh, there are certain facts. Our digital world is dominated by media, video, images, music, graphics, biological data. These data have varying dimensions and bear some content. Okay. And the content is uh, woven on the web, meaning Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Last.fm, this defines a context and the question is how one can build intelligent algorithms for various applications, for example, classification, retrieval, understanding, or synthesize virtual worlds aiming at user, computer, or user computer, uh, consumer satisfaction. One can uh, see that this is a paraphrase of the famous say by Jefferson for the pursuit of happiness. Therefore, digital media, from our point of view, is content plus context plus intelligence. Okay, we, the program has two, the, uh, has two semesters that devoted to courses and the third semester where the students conduct research towards the completion of a master thesis. In each semester, the students select four courses. Of course, more offers are uh, more uh, options are offered to them. Uh, in uh, the autumn semester, there are seven uh, courses that offered, for example, uh, bioinformatics and digital biology. There is a uh, biosignal analysis and uh, neuroinformatics, uh, computational intelligence, uh, statistical learning, computational vision, uh, statistical time, uh, uh, statistical signal processing time series, and uh, games and artificial intelligence. And there is a pair of courses that offered every other year. One is on dynamical systems, and one is on on uh, computational systems. Okay, in the spring semester, the all oh, the uh, the students. Should uh, choose four courses out of five that are offered. I'm not going to uh, read the, uh, the courses here. For example, uh, briefly, I say virtual reality, there is uh, language technology, there is deep learning and uh, multimedia signal analysis. Okay. Which is the cost of the full program? 1,800 euros collectively for the three semesters. Excellence awards and merit scholarships are possible. Now, there are a couple of uh, says by prominent researchers, uh, for example, uh, Mikio Kato, that says that everything will be di uh, digitalized. Computational intelligence will be embedded in every aspect of daily digitalized uh, life. First we electrified, then we digitized, now Cognify, which actually gives a pointer that AI pertains the entire program we offer. 
Uh, therefore, our uh, work in uh, the master program is not uh, uncorrelated with AI. On the opposite, we are strongly correlated to artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data science. Okay. Are there any prospects for the uh, graduates of the program? Uh, we claim yes. And these are certain facts that show that market sectors on uh, the directions we offer in the master program uh, are very promising and uh, the, the, the business they are going to make uh, amount to billions of dollars. Okay. Now, uh, six uh, colleagues are involved in uh, uh, the master program, starting with Professor Peterson, the top left. This uh, uh, Professor Peter uh, is teaching courses on computational uh, vision, autonomous systems. Myself on uh, speech signal processing and uh, language technology. Professor Nikolaidis on graphics, virtual reality. Professor Tefas on uh, computational intelligence deep learning. Professor Laskar is on biosignal analysis and uh, brain-computer interfaces, and Professor Uzunis on digital biology. We are proud because uh, all the team has uh, done pioneering research in digital media and computational intelligence, as is supported by the huge publication record and uh, the volume of citations this rec uh, publication record has uh, received from third party researchers and for all uh, colleagues have long lasting teaching experience in the courses offered. Now, a couple of uh, remarks regarding the history of the program. The program has uh, a life of 18 years. It has been reinstated anew according to the Greek law since 2018. We are, we are proud because 136 graduates have uh, completed successfully the program. Now we are in the fifth call for applications uh, within the new status. Our graduates have gone to have rewarding careers in some of the leading national or multinational companies. For example, starting from a green company, the Beta Kae, we have the SRI International in the United States, Amazon in the United States, Deloitte uh, at uh, UK, NCR, and uh, universities like uh, Texas at Austin, Queen Mary, University of Maastricht, Henan University in China, Trinity College Dublin, National and Capodistrian University of Athens, our institution, the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. Okay. Now, information you can find uh, in the web page. There is also a leaflet that you can download from the web page. I don't know, I have submitted it also in this platform if it is available in order to have the opportunity to see what we are doing uh, in, uh, say, more complete way. Now we claim that uh, studies in our program can offer you a good opportunity to expand your professional horizons. Uh, thank you. Good luck in your choices. Now I'm open to questions.